on, buddy, wake up. <gasps> That's my man. You lose this again, I'm keeping it. <gasps> what happened? If you mess with time, it tends to mess back. <laughs> You'll see. My favorite young adult. Uh, uh, I missed anything cool? You back, that's a cool part. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, and you're okay. Of course I'm okay. I mean, there are aliens, which is a little much, but it's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember? Somebody. No, good. That's what's in it. The tunnel. Pim's original quantum tunnel. That's right. We put the stones in the tunnel, and we just dump it in the quantum realm. He'll never find Easy it. peasy, lemon squeezy. Great, but there's no way that piece of crap survived all this. It's a Ford. Anyone see an up and brown band up there? So that band descends right now. Can you guys get that quantum tunnel working? Can't do can. Yeah. See, you called me back too. You go push stuff and I'll be right there. Look who's back. Hey, I remember five years ago you ran 15 million futures and one of them worked. Yeah? Why don't you tell me how? If I told you it wouldn't happen. Yeah, there's no time for that. Listen to me. Which one wins? Hey, hey, come on, come on, guys! Dr. Weird, can you open one of your magic space holes over to the van? Oh, the doors work both ways. There'd be 500 of those things in here before we ever step through. And we run it. Capable as we all are, we can't all link it through that. Not all of us have to. It's a terrible plan. Yes, I like it. Thank you for getting it this far. Crap, what about Thanos? Company ready! Yes! Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is gonna be my new Avengers Endgame deleted scene video. They have a brand new reunion that they cut from the film and a Spider-Man Iron Man reunion. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on during this scene too. The Russos talked about a bunch of other big things that were cut that I'll add to the video too. And we have news about the Black Widow trailer. I'm still doing the Giant Infinity Saga box set giveaway for all the movies. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave your best theory about Marvel Phase 4 on the video. The way the Russos explained this, in the original version of events, Hulk was going to snap everyone back, and then what we got during the movie is Thanos starts blowing up the Avengers base, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America start fighting him, Captain America wields Thor's hammer, then they do the giant portal scene bringing everyone to the battle with Doctor Strange and Wong. So in the version where this scene was still in the movie, Hulk snapped everyone back, and everyone was just supposed to show up on the battlefield immediately, no big portal scene with Doctor Strange, and then they all go down into this trench to plan what they're going to do next, while Thanos is still bombarding them from orbit. Doctor Strange would have thrown up a shield over this trench and then taken them into the mirror dimension. They said that that was a big plot point, them being inside the mirror dimension while the battle was going on so that they wouldn't be hit by any of the blasts or attacked by any of the outriders. The reunion scene plays out like you saw it during this video. Obviously there's a lot of different ideas for the battle being thrown out here, so the battle itself went down very differently in this version of events. Spider-Man has a very different reunion with Iron Man. I think this one seems way more perfunctory and not quite as emotional as the one we got during the actual movie, with Iron Man finally giving Spider-Man the hug that he denied him way back in Spider-Man Homecoming. That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. We're not, we're not there yet. But as Iron Man says, his original plan is to just throw the Infinity Stones into the Quantum Realm so that Thanos can never find them, assuming that they'll scatter to the four corners of the Quantum Realm itself or fall into different time vortices and wind up in different times and locations all across the universe. 
If you're not a big comic book reader, there are times in the comics where the Infinity Stones have scattered themselves. They do have a will of their own and intelligence, so sometimes they'll just spread themselves and hide all over the universe, waiting for someone to find them again. They don't address it during this deleted scene, but the reason why that wouldn't fly is because it would have prevented them from returning the Infinity Stones where they took them from, causing a whole bunch of alternate branch timelines to be created, potentially dooming all those other versions of themselves in different time periods, or at least according to the Ancient One when she was explaining it to the Hulk. You take my time stone and don't bring it back, you're dooming my reality. That was the whole point in sending Captain America on the mission to return the stones at the end of the movie, and it also allowed them a convenient way to get their Captain America Peggy Carter reunion. Otherwise, how do you end the movie on that reunion scene if you don't have any more Pym particles left? Sure, they could wait for Hank Pym to make some more, but then there'd be a big time jump and it would just completely ruin the ending of the movie. Really funny shout out from Mantis about Marvel Zombies. We'll actually be seeing Marvel Zombies within the Avengers What If series in a couple years. I think it's kind of funny that Iron Man almost punches Doctor Strange here. Peter Quill has to stop them. They said that that was meant to be a sort of reverse moment what Peter Quill had during Infinity War where he would not lay up on Thanos and they wound up losing the gauntlet. But then right after this moment, they said that Ebony Maw was supposed to shatter the mirror dimension bubble that Doctor Strange created, pulling them back into the battle. Then right after that, Captain Marvel was supposed to come down, destroy Thanos' ship, and as you saw, Black Panther says they're going to charge to the quantum tunnel inside Ant-Man's van. So I'm assuming based on the way this scene goes down that they would have gotten to the van with the gauntlet but then Thanos somehow would have stolen it from them and you get this moment where they wrestle it off of him briefly but then he gets it back. Then Iron Man gives that long look to Doctor Strange and gets the confirmation that this is the one way. He's going to have to steal the stones back and snap Thanos away sacrificing himself. For those of you wondering how Iron Man was able to pull that trick off without Thanos noticing, the Russos and the writers explain that the whole trick with Iron Man yoinking the Infinity Stones back was because he had some special safety protocols built into the Stark Tech Gauntlet. So that's kind of what's happening here. He's telling the Stark Tech Gauntlet when he's really close to Thanos to transfer the stones to his Iron Man suit. He didn't actually reach and pluck the stones out of the other gauntlet. The Nano Gauntlet itself transferred the stones to his Iron Man suit. Robert Downey Jr. himself also revealed, fun fact, that Tony Stark did not design this Iron Man suit to survive the Infinity Stones. He knew it was going to be a one-way trip the whole time. There were a couple other big deleted scenes that they also revealed. There was the rematch between the Hulk and Thanos during Endgame. This is him just beating his ass. Then there were a bunch of cut scenes of baby Thanos in Thanos' backstory. That's right, they were going to do a version of baby Thanos during the movie. Maybe they'll cover that during the Eternals franchise at some point if those movies get sequels. Thanos was born on Titan. The Titans themselves are actually descended from Eternals that left planet Earth. The Eternals themselves were created by the Celestials on planet Earth, but then many, many years later after some civil wars, some of them left to colonize Titan, starting with Thanos' father. Thanos is older than Thor, but younger than Odin, so that gives you an idea for where he fits in the timeline. There was also a Doctor Strange versus Thanos fight where he sent him on what the Russos call the Magical Mystery Tour. It was the same thing that the Ancient One did to Doctor Strange, sending him on the trip through all the different dimensions. And if you do want to see Thanos come back in some form during one of the movies or the Disney Plus series, Josh Brolin did say he would love to come back and do some younger versions of Thanos during the Eternals franchise. So there is a solid chance that he could show up in a cameo in the past in one of the future Eternals movies, but it would have to be in the past. There was also a really badass scene of Rhodey getting sliced in half by Corvus Glaive in the middle of the final battle, then the reveal that it wasn't him inside the suit and he'd been remote piloting the whole time. There was this whole subplot that they deleted about Rhodey having the same kind of PTSD that Iron Man had after the first Avengers movie. It kind of gives you an idea for how much extra story they build into these movies when they're trying to conceive what is actually going to be. Then by the time they get ready to shoot, they have to cut a lot of this stuff out just because it wind up being a six hour movie. Even though I know a lot of you would love to see a six hour version of Avengers Endgame, that's kind of the idea with the Avengers Disney Plus series. But if you spotted any other big Easter eggs in these deleted scenes that I didn't mention in the video, just write them below in the comments and let me know if there are any other big deleted scenes that you want me to do videos for. The Black Widow trailer is going to drop next week. Of course, I'll do a video for that, but I will also name the first giveaway winner for the Infinity Saga box set when that happens. Everyone click here for that Avengers Endgame deleted scene with Iron Man inside the Soul World with his daughter and click here for my Mandalorian Baby Yoda video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.